Hi guys, it's Stacey here from tycoonfactory.com and I wanted to make a video today about how to earn money online from home. Now, you've probably seen some of my other videos on my channel. Um, if you haven't, you'll notice that I've done quite a few videos on how to make money online. And it probably seems quite silly because you're thinking, oh well, how is this any different? But to me, they are very different things. So to me, somebody who's searching to make money online is probably searching for an online business opportunity or to start their own business. Whereas somebody who's searching to earn money online is almost looking for a job um, to swap their time for money. Um, perhaps they just want to replace their income and work from home and that's fine and in my mind that's something that should be encouraged um, for a couple of reasons firstly I hate the fact that there's people out there that still get get up and have that dreaded Monday morning feeling when they've got to go to work we spend a huge chunk of our lives working and it should be something that's enjoyable and that we look forward to doing on top of that, I think everybody should have the freedom to be able to work when they like. Um, obviously, that does involve a certain degree of self-motivation, um, but I don't think that anybody should be dictated to when they have to work. Um, so that's, that's the first reason. But the second reason that I think this should be encouraged is because even if at present you're just looking to replace your income and get out of your job, you know, after you've made some money online and you've seen what can be done and you kind of start and speak to people who are of the same mindset and you start and make money, um, that could well grow into a passion for online business and wanting to start an online business. And so I very much think that so even if it is just a case of you're looking for an online job, I very much think that that should be encouraged because it can develop into other things. So I'm going to uh, tell you just a couple of ways that you can earn money from home online and um, the you don't need any particular technical knowledge or anything like that, it's fairly straightforward. Um, so the first way is if you have any skills at all, um, you can actually sell these skills directly to companies. So if you can proofread, if you can edit photographs, if you can edit videos, if you can write, if you can design covers or posters or logos. These are all services that you can sell to businesses and there's platforms already set up for you to advertise these services. And yes, it is a job, you are swapping your time for money, um, but that's not to say that there isn't money to be made in that. So one of the platforms that you can do this on is called Fiverr. And Fiverr is a site where you basically say what you're willing to do um, for five dollars so you might say I will read 500 words of your um, article and ensure there's no mistakes in it for five dollars um, so Fiverr it's full of experts but it's also full of companies it's quite a busy platform so it's not very difficult to get orders on even as a beginner obviously the more positive feedback you get on there the more orders you're going to get um, and literally it covers everything from website design to um, logos, proofreading, anything you can think of. So any skill you've got, even if it's customer service, you know, it's something that you can sell on these platforms. Um, so yeah, so Five is a really good platform to do it on. Um, another one is Upwork. Uh, Upwork is a platform that's a little bit more difficult to get started on because it tends to be people who've got feedback that get more jobs. Um, but it's one to certainly have a look at. Um, and it's it's great because it's you can charge a lot more. Um, I mean, that being said, on Fiverr you can kind of put upgrades on and people can buy more than one of your gig as they call, that's what your advert's called on Fiverr. So you can charge more than a Fiverr on Upwork, uh, on Fiverr, sorry. Um, but on Upwork, you know, you've got the ability to charge that from the get-go. Um, and it's, it's a good platform. There's a lot of people posting ads on there as well, looking for services. So not only can you put a profile up saying I do this, that and the other. You can also apply for jobs directly on there, which is really good. And um, the other one is People Per Hour. Now, People Per Hour is a UK based platform. However, they do accept um, experts from all over the world. So that's really good. And you can charge a little bit more on People Per Hour because it's UK based. And um, some of the services and things that are offered on there are unbelievable. I mean, there's some great 
uh, designers and things on there. Um, so that's another one that you can offer your services on and it's literally any service you can think of. Um, I remember for a while while I was um, at university I was doing legal research for um, law students and things like that as part of that um, on People Pro. Hour. So it's a great platform, you know, it's a great way to kind of earn some extra money and get started. Um, so those are platforms where you can sell your skills if you like. So that's one option. Another option is um, a platform and there's a few of them around. I'm just going to talk about one um, which is a platform called Arise and what that is is it's almost like an agent or a middleman. So what they do is they find companies who are looking for um, customer service professionals, things like that and then they find people who are good at that and they match the two up. So if you are good at customer service, it doesn't have to be in a particular area, it can just be basic customer service. Um, but if you've got extra skills like you can do IT customer service or technical stuff, then um, that's great because they'll be able to match you to an employer that is looking for those skills. They do have full and part-time positions and they definitely hire people both in the UK and the US. I'm not sure about other places, um, I haven't looked into that, but I will include some links below so you can do some research and have a look yourself. And um, it's just, it's very similar to applying for a job. You will go through an application form, you have a phone interview. Um, so it's very similar to applying for a job, apart from it's a job that's based from home and you can basically choose your hours within reason. Um, so that's one option as well. And more and more people are doing that because for companies, it's a lot cheaper to kind of hire people that are working from home than to kind of pay out for office space and all that kind of thing. So it's a really good option for both yourself and for the company. Uh, the last option that I want to talk about with you is uh, online surveys. And online surveys have had a lot of growth recently because marketing professionals or market researchers used to go around and knock on people's doors and um, get questionnaires filled in um, but a lot of people won't answer the doors now to things like that so online surveys has become kind of the way forward for market research um, and you don't get paid huge amounts for them I mean there's some online surveys where you might get paid um, I've seen online services where you get paid like 50 pence, I'm in the UK, um, or I've seen online services where you can get six pounds and it just depends on the platform you choose. Um, there are sort of hundreds of these platforms now offering online surveys that you get paid for and they're really easy to do, it's just a case of being honest. Um, one of my pet hates about online surveys is when you've spent quite a long time answering questions and then they tell you you're not eligible for the survey, you're not suitable, but you've already spent quite a bit of time. So that's one of my pet hates about online surveys. Um, but generally, you know, they're quite good and some of these platforms also offer focus groups now where you can sort of participate in um, an online focus group with other people and you might be asked to test test a product um, and then discuss it and give your opinion on it. So you do tend to get paid more for the focus groups, but they are more difficult to find. Um, but generally, it's you know it's a, it's a good way to make some extra money. I'm not saying that from surveys alone you'd be able to replace your full time income, but if you were doing part of that and then part of reselling your services on Fiverr, then that's absolutely fine. Um, so those are three ways that you can earn money from home and. Uh, as I kind of said before, it is very much a swapping your time for money. It's not a business. Um, but if you are interested in business, I actually have a free course of ways you can make money online. And my free course is um, focused on ways that include um, no marketing skills, no technical knowledge and with no capital. So, you know, what have you got to lose by trying it? And again, I'll include a link to that in the um, description. But if you want to enroll on that free course, uh, the link is www.tycoonfactory.com forward slash free course. Um, but like I say, I'll include a link below and you can check that out if that's something you're interested in. But I hope that this video has been helpful to you. Um, don't forget to post your comments below. If I can help uh, with questions and things, then I will. Uh, we are on Facebook, on Twitter, so check that out, Tycoon Factory. And uh, don't forget to subscri subscribe to the channel. See you soon, guys.